One shot here. We're back in some Harry Potter Legacy. This time... I don't remember what we did last time. We were in... Played with some cabbages. A lot. Yeah, we went to Forbidden Library. Yeah, we'll get right into it. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, let's get right into it. I don't think it's anything. Okay, going this way. Well, shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Oh, we're fine. Black would never allow. I saw an aura badge on Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows right. more than he's letting on. Go to about potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Okay. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's Points class to is Ravenclaw. Completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. Sure, we can do that without too many problems. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please Crush. be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. Pinched. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Loop, loop. Easy peasy. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor okay. Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. All right. Easy peasy. All right, so I need to go My to My parents his considered office. keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. Oh you remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Yes, ah, yes, I do. Yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurance potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, yeah, we might as well. What I'll the hell? Fupa feather. As long as you're certain Sharp won't. Nothing listen, venture, nothing gain. You won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I feel like it's gonna blow up in his face. Keep your potion station. Girl fur. Okay. Select the feather. Right. Got everything. Not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! 
This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Fair enough. Should you chop the Diddy or crush it? Okay, Wrong so answer this. could result in the unfortunate loss time. of your eyebrows. Might as well just wait it out. Bring them in a durable, rocky skin. Interesting. Could come in handy, I guess. And we did it. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Oh boy. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! <laughs> Dragon Dog! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. You did your best. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Oh. Mr. Weasley oh, did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed <laughs> rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Yep. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess yep. I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. Well, we're learning. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Class dismissed. Yes, now what do we do? Oh, my robes are going to reek from death. Oh, wait, we might be able to... Uh, here. There was a... I thought there was something I could use last time. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Purple dragon-eyed spectacles. I like it. Headwear. Pretty sure I got everything else I can use right now. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's see where else we need to go. World map. Oh, yeah. But that way. I've always said that. This isn't the way. To finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Oh, that's not the way either. Actually, wait, is this a side quest up here? Oh, yeah. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. The glasses, though. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that. And now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. Well, I'm I sure we can the books and handle it. The charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. 
there are only five, she won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I can do it. I suppose I could help. I got time. I the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Right, we got it. All right, let's go get your books. Have the right spell, I do. I'm going to have to use Akio. Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Here we got the diary. Here we gotta go up. No one bites dust. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't students see that? Sure they can. Where? Ah, I saw you. Come back here. Okay. One more. I think it might be back here. Can I go in here? I feel like I can't go in there. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna adjust. Is the said book gotta be upstairs? Just gotta be. We'll go up this one. No, it says it's down there. What the hell? Maybe it isn't. Uh. Ooh. Used where it says. Uh, nice to see you, my young friend. Very Revelio. Gotta be in the forbidden section. No other way. Confused right now. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't Rebellion? Uh, the hell? But well, it doesn't tear. I don't see. Oh, am I just blind or what? Huh. Rebellion. I'm going to go look upstairs one more time, otherwise we're out of here. I knew it. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. All right. Well, we solved that problem. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. What a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Of course. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again. Let me out. Thank goodness, some people are trusted. 
All right. World map. We'll go here. Out the way. <laughs> Rebellion. Where the hell are we going? Oh, this way. Nice ones we can actually fly. No one will get that. You can't imagine how inconvenient that is. East classroom. Yeah. Get that stuff. Everybody just walk up and get it. And I can just destroy it, that works too. Let's take a shortcut. I don't know if this is much of a shortcut. It is an open world, so maybe I can go this way. <laughs> That's the worst that can happen. Easy. Oh no, maybe I can't get up the hill. That might be the problem. Whoa! Alright, let's see if we can climb. Oh. Damn it, man. Alright, now what? Ah. Gravel there. It's like right above me. Well, I did my best. This wasn't meant to be. Hell are those things? What is this? Whoa. Just Rebellion. Uh, does that mean exactly? Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. Groundskeeper's tools. This looks intriguing. Oh, a side quest. Might as well grab it before we go. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello. <laughs> Classes every you? time. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see... I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Uh, why not? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure, 
We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Yeah, why not? Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's I if I can even do this there. right now. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean yeah. so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. North I should dive east. down and see. I'll dive down. I'm faster. Maybe it's not deep enough here. Ah! It's the worst that could happen going. <laughs> This oh, yeah. must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. Okay, search. This is easier than I thought it was going to be. Vintage gloves. A couple more. Okay, we got that. I should oh. let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. One more, wasn't there? Or not? Alright, either way, we're out of here. Oh, nice easy quest. Swimming in all her clothes, though, that's not ideal. Oh, that's cool. Peach juice. I trust right. you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. No, it was fine. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You no do problem. have to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Speaking of, <laughs> right in front of us. Thank you again. But I don't really care right now. Okay. Got some... Gloves. Handles for a wand as well. Okay, so 16, 22. Well, we might as well take these. Nice. Keep diving. Mine's a good you stuff. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. See that chest over here. Okay. We got. I never Arn. thought Ramrock's loyalists would. Pardon me. Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals. Bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Where'd they go? 
I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I'm oh, sure I, I can do it. I want the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. I could probably do that. It was nice meeting you. Why not? I wish it had been under better, sir. After what ran There's did enemies, that so you can actually see enemies on the map. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. I'll go do it real quick. What those are over there? Oh, it looks like a spider. Look, I'm sir. Go to the goblin camp. There's a page over here. Rebellion. Then probably should have got that other quest first, but whatever. Fire. My track. Cursed fiends. First fiends. Not even a challenge. Might as well just go right up the front door. This must be it. Look at him. Is it not here you go. Oh, I'm not here. Me alone. Oh god, that was. I will make you pay. Okay, that's not. Okay, I need to heal. A G, G to heal. G, G. But I have other skills. Just use this. Yes, I will. Uh. All right, there's all kinds of you guys here. Let's go like this. Ow. Oh, that's not what I want. There we go. You. Just hit you, I'm gonna go like this. I don't know how to kill you. Um, maybe, oh, maybe it's a red one. Ah! Sense. There we go. That was quite something. 
Yeah, that was quite something. Now, to free Arn's cards. Incendio. Mushrooms. Now let's find the cart. Alright, here we go. Gone. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to arm. Oops. Revelio. Let me also. I don't know what that is. Rebellion. Okay. Looks like anything too crazy. Oh, just up there. Slots are full. So we gotta sell some stuff. I remember there's a vendor back here. I better check. Make sure there's nothing better. Yep, yeah, there's one. Twenty one. Definitely better. Yeah, that's fine. Easy peasy. Funny, they're just on their way back home. That one go that way. Whatever. Yeah, I forgot I have cabbages too. Get him, cabbage. Nice. Cabbage whooped his ass. Get the trees. That's a cow. House. Yeah, you can just destroy those to get them. That's good. Now I can sell. Hello. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my. Uh, what do you have for sale? Wait. What can I help you with today? Okay, I can sell. Sell. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Uh, no, nope, I can't just do it all. Sell it all for now. We don't even need Hope it. Hope to see you again sometime. Hello, friend. On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Oh, thank you for proving them wrong. No problem, man. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. I say easy, but it wasn't that easy. My things back, I'm bad. I'm still learning. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Well, that's kind of you. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Well, man. All right, now we can... This here. Oh. 
Oh, we can do him as a Handy salesperson now. Indeed, your field guide. I'm the wait. I'm most pleased to be included. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. As I. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Yeah. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. That's fine. For now, I don't really understand it either. Liquid and Hollow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. All right, well. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may well, I'm be sure true. that's what we're gonna Should do, then. Officer Singer handled someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Be on your guard. We just came all the way over here just to talk, huh? Because there was some other stuff. Dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Oh. Nope, the stranger. I must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Oh, thanks. Students, you can't be... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Stupefy. Oh, too bad. You guys are easier than the goblins. Oh, first there's more, though. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. That's not nice. Collection field guys updated new enemy type. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Anyway, we can. Let me go. You can come Nice. Not too bad. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. I have no idea, Matt, either. I mean, they're just looking for me. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? 
Victor Rockwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies, they seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Interesting. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. Well, good you thing we showed each up. Each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. All right. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Okay. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as yep. well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Is it where? Oh, this thing. Yeah. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these piles. Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Oh, it's more of them. Easy. Wow. How what does the leaf man have to say? What a day. I can hardly believe it. Oh, nothing. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Why my not? My is that each will also require mallow suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. How's this thing doing here? All right, now what? Gear capacity. Okay. Now, what are we doing? Wes. Okay, on enemies. A 
Okay, so we gotta go do that. Let's do this first. You can find an enemy and cast it on him. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Yep. Find an enemy. I feel like there was enemies here last time I was here. Hello. Oh, it's one of these things. Huh. I got wolves. Incendio. Yes. Lumos. Easy. Okay, we'll go over here. Revelio. Bag. Locust looks better. I should go to quests. Go here. Do this thing. Why not? I gotta do both things. Practice. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yep. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. No, I got this. We got. Accio. Incendium. Good one. Not too bad. You know what? Okay, so. Incendium. Nice. That's it. Got more. Incendium. Aww. You'll get it. Well, how do I do that fast enough, though? Incendium. Oh, I just did it too fast. Incendium. Oh. Oh, that was a big attack. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in cross... Okay. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Yeah, why not? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Uh, yes. Natty. Then let's get started. How many people am I fighting this time? We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Yeah, of course, four. There's three of us. No, there's two of us. Yep. Like a winner. 
bad. Gotta pay attention a little bit. What a victory! You've won the tournament! I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. <laughs> You're telling me I haven't either. Okay. So... Whatever. Go to quest. Okay. Let's do this first. Gotta be over here. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. We're supposed to, oh, we're just learning. of everything I had asked you to do. I don't know. Maybe I did. I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Uh. Good spell work. unlocked. Is this isn't it. Right. Here. Stay in practice. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. All right. Now what? Hunt for the missing pages. Okay. That's us down. All the way over there. Of course. Well, I'll just run then. Nearly headless neck. So we're 
we're going to talk to. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hello. Might as well hey, talk to you. It's me, Gareth. Do you have Gareth. a moment? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Nothing. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Well, I mean, do you have a quest for me, or...? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. I like to see brew up. Concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own brews. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Uh, why not? That sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Okay, well... I'll need to get those dried billions. Are uh, you there? Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Uh, you know what? I'll a come back for you. Which statue shouldn't be too hard to find. An eyed witch statue. Where's this? Rebellion! This looks like the right ah. statue. What was the password? Descendium. It's cake. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Okay. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Let's do that for now. Repair her. Only life was this easy. Ah. That seems to have done the trick. Time to go. I feel like something not so nice is gonna be down here. This castle will never cease to surprise me. I need to incendium. Oh, no. no, dead. Nice. So, let me go. Oh, maybe I just jump. Yeah. I'm going to have to get past this. Okay, doesn't look too bad. Frogs. Okay, so I think I jump for this one. Let me 
easy. Oh, now I gotta repair. Repair. Ah, I'm almost Let's dead. Go. Incendio. Burn all that up. Go and make it across. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Oh shit. Um. Now what? <laughs> Repair. Levios. Um, I might have to go back. I don't know what I did there, but... Have to do there. Oh, they stay up. Nice. What about There we go. Well, Aha, got it. Oh, just a matter of figuring out the right spell. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. It's a deal. A way out of the secret passage. I just jumped in the water. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Ooh, a chest. Rebellion. Oh, mother gloves. Okay. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey juice. Please. Yep. Why am I up here? Oh. Yeah, there we go. Hogsmeade, here I come. Where the hell am I now? I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? No idea. Could be somewhere over here. Probably right there. I have the dried billywigs things. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. I mean, not great. <laughs> Mind me. Never here. Okay. Oh, we go to Hogwarts. We go here. I love fast travel. Yeah, I think we got some new stuff too. Better. Not. That's it. I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them. Incredible. There they are. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Yeah, should be interesting. Uh, you there? Hello. Uh, you. I you want to back. see me, sir? 
Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Oh. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. All right, why not? Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Revelry. Your secret safe with me. All right. All on your lead, this then. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. What? Hmm. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Fair enough. Now, why do you want it rotten, though? I feel like that wouldn't be very good. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one flows through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. <laughs> but why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. I suppose that makes sense. Rebellion. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. So, I'm going. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Tickle Did you say pear. tickle the pear? <laughs> yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast. Tickle the pear. Okay, in we go. Hello, Dobbies. In the kitchen. Never will understand what they want. Plenty found them. Rebellion. Likely. You know how hungry they are. Really makes rookies job. Lock, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you guys doing that? Rookie. Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Thanks, man. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. <laughs> Oops. Towards the end of the kitchen. Oh, yeah. There's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! Hello. What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit. Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Thank Finky you. supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Oh, well, I should nice get going. To meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Back to Nick. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Mighty impressive place you got here. It smells glorious in here. Supposed to feed all those students. Hello. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. 
headless activities. Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Uh, I mean, I suppose. I don't really well, understand, I'd but... I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. We're going to join the headless hunt of some sort. To really pay more attention. Ah, yes, the ghosts. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. I feel like yours is a setup. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it's Richard Jackdaw. Where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's Society of the Head. Somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you Society of the Head. Likes I give you being my headless. permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. All right then. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite clear? <laughs> but sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now please, That's follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Well, he tried his best. My mortal life was never okay. this... Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Hmm. I think there's any bridges around here, right? Yeah, that's probably it right there, but whatever. Going down here. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just mm -hmm. once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? I mean, I don't think I have a choice. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. My Marvelous. Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Yeah. 
begin. Looking. Rebellion. Sure to find him. Discovered already. Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to Rebellion. Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Oh, there he is. Here we go again. Rebellion. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? Right. We've almost got him. Aha. And then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Why did I come back? Rebellion. You now, friend. It won't be long now. We'll find him. Oh, here we are. You can make it so easier than it's supposed to be. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've you almost put him down. Rebellion. I can do that too. Well, I did it. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Yeah, that was all right. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The what? pages are likely still moldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? Let's do I it. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not Thank to you. worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first, but Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. All right. So I'm assuming it's going to want us to go to the forest next. Oh. World map. Guessing it just hasn't loaded yet. New quest. That's over there. Well, I think that's where we're gonna leave it for where we're gonna leave it for today. Quite a few things. Well, if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.